question is from that fly guy. Can you talk about The Rock's cheat meals? Is this message harmless or harmful to the fitness community? Now, Doug, you recently pulled this up for us to look at. Yeah. And this, so if so correct this me, is if one I'm, meal. Yeah, so I believe on Sundays it, 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 he gets a he has a cheat day, right? And all aboard Sunday. Okay, so it's all aboard Sunday cheat meal train. Here's a non-exhaustive list of everything the Rock eats uh, eats on his day off. Two eight ounce double cheeseburgers with bacon and fries, double shot of tequila, brownies, blondies, peanut butter chocolate chip, and uh, double chocolate chip cookies and cheesecake. What so are here's blondies. Here's uh, and and obviously anybody who's like seen those. the anybody who's seen uh, <laughs> I think that's a cookie. Oh, right. I don't know what that is. I have retried. Or maybe yeah, that's a, Is yeah. it a cookie? He's, he's taking the word cheat too uh, far. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's <laughs> way too far, babe. Now. It's cheat. It's a cheat. Well, day. I was trying to make this whole faithful meals movement, and nobody was buying it. So, so. I uh, I hate this, uh, but I love The Rock, so I, I feel torn here. Uh, I know. Right? Because I, I do like The Rock. I think he's an incredible character. Uh, I also think that he's positioning himself to to get into politics one day. Uh, I, I hate though cheat meals. I've hated. I've said this since I was competing. I hate you referencing uh, eating this way as a cheat because I think that it in- encourages a, a poor relationship with food. That you're cheating. You know, like a, like it's a has a bad connotation to it. Like. You know, oh, if you're eating this way, you're being good. Then you're eating that way. Then it's bad. Uh, I think it promotes uh, the the restrict and binge mentality that we already see in the in the industry. Um, and I, I don't like it at all. I don't like just because you can you do it 100. percent And but I, I I think he's also a horrible example of uh, if comparing comparing yourself and what he's doing to what you potentially could do because uh, he trains like a fanatic. Uh, he's on a copious amounts of anabolics. Uh, he's a massive he's a genetic phenom- yeah, phenom. Yeah, he's already a beast as it is. Like, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think that's a, a good thing to be sharing with people. And I know this type of stuff uh, gets likes yeah. and shares and comments, and it makes good for magazines. And that's where this yeah. was at. I, I mean, yeah. just don't call it a cheat meal or cheat day. Just oh, this is what I ate Sunday. That's all. Like yeah. calling it a cheat day reinforces the idea that there's a that you ha- you eat it this particular way, and every once in a while you go off and you call it, you, you structure it and call it a cheat. How about this? How about you? Food has a lot of value, and there's a lot of different kinds of value that food provides. One of the values that food provides us is the one that we're most that most people are familiar with, which is the hedonistic value, the enjoyment of the the taste and the experience of eating that food. That's not one that I typically have to teach people. We're, we all raise that way. And that, but that is a real value. I, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not a value. It's actually a value. There's, a, there's, there's something that's good about eating a food and enjoying it for the taste and for its, for the experience. I also think there's some physiological aspects to this that are negative too. Like, I don't know how many studies we have around this, but I, I would venture to say that it's probably more unhealthy for us to sit down in, on one day and consume. Rather you know, than sprinkling in, yeah, fifteen thousand of all these foods that we just listed versus, hey, on Thursday night I had some fries with my meal, or on you know Friday night after cookie. dinner I had a cookie. Or- You're so right because think about it. That and by the way, that is a, a restrict binge mentality, right? All week I eat super quote unquote clean. Sundays is my cheat days, and I go off. You know what they would what that what that is? That's literally restrict. And binge. Yep. A healthier approach would lit- exactly what you said, Adam. Yeah. Exactly. Rather than doing that all week, would be, oh, you know, today I had a burger, uh, you know, but I also yeah. had all these other good foods or whatever. Like it's okay to do that kind of stuff. You just have to be uh, understand the value that food provides, and food provides that value. It also provides healthy, you know, things for your body physiologically, stuff for your skin, your digestion. It's got proteins for building muscle, fat for your hormones, and you know all that other stuff. Just, just doing that means you can live in a more kind of comfortable, relaxed life around food yeah. and be healthy. This creates that hyper focus on those types of foods. Like mm. all you can think all week is about that, right. you know, gluttonous, uh, you know, raging feast that you're gonna have, and that's what you have to look forward to. I mean, it's it, there's way too much hype that you're you're putting around those those types of foods. And, Bro, and again, I don't like it because it's and this is what I really don't like this in with my peers. This is really common in the the men's physique bodybuilding world is. 
these guys and girls that would show these foods. And you, if you followed me since the beginning and watched when I competed and stuff like that, I never did that. Does that mean I never had a cheeseburger? Absolutely, I did. Does that mean I never had ice cream? Absolutely, mm -hmm. I did. But I also didn't think it was. I didn't think it was very professional and smart for me to flaunt that. Hey, I have 210 pounds of lean body mass on me. My metabolism is roaring at 5,500 to 6,000. I'm on yeah. anabolic steroids, so half of what I you eat. You wish you could be me, right? <laughs> and here I am, knowing that I'm 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 one percent of the one percent. Okay, and I'm but I'm speaking to the other 99 percent of the population, showing them that is not a is not good not on not for me as a as a fitness professional because some kid is going to think that he can go out and get away with the same thing and still also have the similar physique and I just think that's a a, a poor thing to present. Yeah, I think if he the fact that he called it a cheat meal that's that's the part that I have an issue with. If you want to post it and you you ate it and you want to talk about it whatever, but stop calling yeah. things you know cheat and this is clean. And I mean, this I'll is try your tequila. Yeah, <laughs> just send me a bottle.